Hi there, Richard Tubb here in the Tubservatory, keeping my eye out for top resources to help you to grow your MSP business. So without further ado, here are my five a week from the MSP space. Email is a top target for cyber attacks. And so the 2023 Email Security Trends Report from Barracuda MSP is valuable research for MSPs looking to keep their clients safe. Barracuda's research team has identified 13 email threat types that companies need to defend against, as well as providing advice to MSPs. This report is definitely one to download. And talking of cybersecurity, have you heard of vishing? In their article on vishing, Augment shares that a vishing attack or voice phishing is a kind of scam in which fraudsters use phone calls. Now, if your client uses a voice over IP or VoIP-based telephone system, this article is a must-read. A tool that caught my eye is Infection Monkey. Infection Monkey is an open-source breach and attack simulation, or BAS, platform that helps you validate existing controls and identify how cyber attackers might exploit your current network security gaps. If you're intrigued to find out more, then Brandon Hopkins has an excellent video courtesy of Lenovo. Now, raising awareness of mental health is something I'm personally passionate about and that I believe the managed service industry would benefit from learning more about. So I was honored when Domot asked me to share my MSP mental health tips for IT business owners. I hope this article helps MSPs become aware of the signs of mental health challenges. And finally, ConnectWise IT Nation London 2023 takes place on the 20th to the 22nd of March 2023 at the Royal Lancaster Hotel in London. Delegates can expect content to address business concerns such as leading and growing during economic uncertainty, accelerating recurring revenue, attracting and retaining talent, and much, much more. I hope to see you there. What are the top security researchers worried about right now? Well, that's the question answered in this newly released Risk Roundtable video from Acronis. Some of the topics the panel of experts cover include how cyber threats impact different risk areas for MSPs and their client data, and security risks heading into 2023 and the technologies to counter them. Now, how can you recession-proof your MSP? Well, that's the topic of the latest season of the superb Superpod No Filter MSP podcast from SuperOps. In the first two episodes, guests include Dave Patel sharing what does an MSP acquirer look for, and Robin Odie giving advice on what every MSP needs to know about the recession. IT is not an island, so shares some of the industry's top IT leaders in this excellent article from Tom Allen of Computing Magazine. For example, former HarperCollins CEO Laura Mayer stresses the importance of networking, while John Sullivan, CIO of Great British Railways, notes that technology is second to people and culture when it comes to transformation. We've mentioned it before on this show, but what is shadow IT? Well, Joseph Harrison of IT Companies gives an in-depth look at what shadow IT is and the security risks it poses to organizations. MSPs will also appreciate this article's suggested ways to prevent or mitigate those risks. And finally, it was one of the standout events of 2022, and now it's returning this year. The MSP Super Summit 2023 Live takes place in London on the 23rd of March, hosted by SuperOps. The theme for this year's Super Summit is Future Proof Your MSP. Now, Super Summit Live is all about you, the MSP. The event has a strictly no to vendor pitches and a big yes to community and knowledge sharing. Now, a series of videos that caught my eye this week are the Microsoft 365 security video tutorials from Skykick. Now, the videos are short to the point and give MSPs instructions on how to harden their client's M365 tenants. MSPs, I would highly recommend you bookmark in this URL. Happy Signals have announced the results of their ninth annual Global IT Experience Benchmark Survey. Over 1.6 million end users participated in the survey. And if you want to understand how you can improve IT experience for your end users, then this is a superb read. Thanks to Jason Kemsley, Uptime Solutions, for sharing. 
big news from the UK that Pax8 have launched their professional services offering for MSPs. MSPs can now partner with Pax8 to add extra bandwidth and expertise to your team so you can focus on growing your business. Azure Migration Services, Intune Advisory and Implementation and Custom Projects are just some of the ways Pax8 ProServe promises to help MSPs. I believe this is a game changer for progressive MSPs who want to be seen as more than just the IT guys. Now, empathy is an undervalued part of a service desk role. So this article on 10 practical tips you might consider to help you develop your empathy is a very useful read. Trevor Norman of Tribero suggests using people's names, smiling and not interrupting people is key to developing your empathy. And finally, if you're not in London next week, then you're going to miss not one, but two huge MSP events. ConnectWise IT Nation London takes place on the 21st and 22nd of March, followed by the MSP Super Summit from SuperOps on the 23rd of March. Now, I'll be at both events, so if you're there, do say hello. MSPs stop jumping to AI and focus on predictable automation first. That's the advice from Ben Spector of Zomentum and Jason Kemsley of Uptime Solutions in this on-demand webinar video. Ben and Jason give some excellent practical tips for MSPs on automating predictable workflows so that you can get ready for artificial intelligence. This video is definitely worth watching. For MSPs who work hard to land and retain clients, it can seem counterintuitive to fire some. But in fact, many experts, including myself, advise doing just that. This article from Channel Pro Magazine shows the how, when, and why to fire MSP clients. Now, a video that caught my eye was Stop Making These MSP SEO Mistakes from Pronto Marketing. The short video, it's only about five minutes, shows the most common search engine optimization or SEO mistakes that Pronto Marketing sees MSPs making on their websites. When it comes to relax, focus, succeed, where exactly does relax fit in with succeed? Here's a great short video from MSP expert Carl Palachuk offering advice for MSPs to succeed without burning out. Take five minutes out of your day today, relax and watch this video. And finally, here are 40 obsolete technologies that will baffle modern generations. Adrian Willings of Pocket Lint has pulled together a list of some tech that I and some of our more experienced viewers may remember. Pagers, fax machines and overhead projectors are three of the technologies that may be a mystery to our younger viewers. Now, MSPs are hearing a lot of talk around GDAP compliance. GDAP, or Granular Delegated Admin Permissions, give partners access to their clients' workloads in a way that is more granular and time-bound, which can help to address security concerns. Well, Skykick report that Microsoft is transitioning partners to GDAP starting 22nd of May 2023. And so Skykick have an excellent blog post which explains what to expect. Now, how do you know if your vendor partners are taking MSP cybersecurity as seriously as they should? Well, noted cybersecurity expert Matt Lee of Pax8 has put together a superb SaaS vendor security question checklist for MSPs that includes steps such as check your vendor against cybersecurity industry standards, and ask if the vendor will share their security documentation with you. Video marketing is very popular amongst managed service providers, but if you're not comfortable in front of the camera, then MSP expert Pete Matteson has your back. Matteson has launched the MSP Video Marketing Masterclass to help you learn how to use video to build a brand that brings inbound leads into your MSP business from someone that's actually done it. The cloud isn't as efficient as we would all like to think. Penny Horwood writes for Computing Magazine on why the environmental credentials of Amazon, Microsoft, and Google are being challenged. This research makes fascinating reading for anyone interested in the efficiency of the cloud services that we're all buying into. And finally, if you thought MSP marketing campaigns were no fun, then MSP Camp have introduced the MSP Marketing Online Game. Arm your avatar Maurice, and then defend your camp against incoming threats. And at least if someone discovers you're playing this game, you can argue it's work-related. <laughs>